Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the GoTo chapter. Today on my stamina saucer with an Oblivion damage based one UX setup. But first, what exactly is Oblivion damage? It's basically unresistible damage. Means it gets not affected by any mitigation, so it goes through armor, shields, CPs, crit resistance or any other unique mitigation like corrosive armor. Really strong in PvP, really hard to play against. With the new scribing system, we have two strong abilities which can deal a ton of Oblivion damage with the right signature scripts. First skill is called Soul Burst. It's an undodgeable AoE with an 8 meters range. Make sure to use the physical damage focus script. This is the only one which converts the ability into a stamina one. Otherwise you will have big issues to sustain the Magicka morphs. The most important script is the signature one called Anchorite's Cruelty. Consumes a soul gem to the 2.8% of the enemy's max health as a damage every 2 seconds for 10 seconds up to a maximum of 2.8k. Has also an execute bonus it's up to 100% more damage to enemies under 50% health. Can proc every 10 seconds. In average, this thing hits around 1 to 1.5k damage per second. That's just brutal. As epic script, you have multiple choices here. I prefer the Mine Expedition for the extra movement speed. Really helpful in open world 1mx situations. Since I do not use Hurricane this build, perfectly made. Second option would be Miner Reach for 3k pen. But keep in mind, with this one, you need to hit your opponent. Third option is Miner Coverage for extra weapon damage same as with the Mine Expedition one, it gets applied to yourself so you don't have to hit any target with it. Second Swiping skill is Weird Soul, already used it on different setups, probably the strongest range spam at the moment. Also here, make sure to use the physical damage focus script to convert it into a stamina spammer. Signature script, the exact same one, Anchorite's Cruelty, but deals 1.5% of limit damage per second with a 5 second duration with same execute bonus as previous one, so basically the same effect like on Soul Burst with a shorter duration but takes every second. This script stacks obviously with the Soul Burst one. You can imagine how much Oblivion damage alone those two abilities deal without even talking about the two Oblivion damage sets. As FX script here, the Saucy one needed since I do not have crit search on my bar. By the way, make sure to have a ton of Soul Gems, it will consume a lot of them. Quick look on the sets, front bar slots embrace. A craftable set, you need 6 traits for it, has a 10% proc chance to fire Shadow Pearl, which deals 3% oblivion damage of the target's HP every second for 6 seconds, with a 6 seconds cooldown. Hits really really hard. Back bar set, Snake in the Stars, applying a major or minor debuff, in this case Ilesas, to an enemy applies Star Venom to them for 4 seconds. Whenever an enemy is healed with Star Venom, they take over 1.2k oblivion damage up to once every 0.1 seconds. If someone is in execute range with this effect, they will have big big problems to heal themselves without getting wrecked. As Smithic Saint of the Seducer, best in slot for every melee setup at the moment, better than Sea Serpent's Coil, Deathless Feet, etc. As Villa 120 and Shudana's monster set, like this I can desert Hurricane for Hardened Ward, which is essential as one UX player, gives a ton of healing and a big shield. Also scales with your max HP, not only with Magicka, depends on which one is high obviously, in this case HP still worth to use even on a stamina saucer. Armor tabs with 2 heavy and 4 medium, 1 light sash with 4 impen pieces, 1 sturdy, 1 well fitted and 1 reinforced chest. I only have prismatic looks on the big pieces, the rest max stamina, we can also go through prismatic if you want. Full infuse on jewelry with 1 prismatic, 1 stamina recovery and 1 weapon and spell damage. Front bar 2 bases, Leon sharp for the extra penetration, flame poison shard, back bar classic, Ice stuff in defending with the escape is poison. Quick look on the skills. Front bar. Bound armaments is my flex spot. We have multiple choices here. I prefer armaments for the extra 8% max stamina slotted and a passive semi spammable. Another option would be rending slashes for more dot pressure with the hemorrhaging status effect and bleed damage and also the 30% snare. Really nice. Or quick look for open world PvP also nice with the mage evasion 20%. AOE damage reduction. If you use both, you will lose 20% stamina recovery though. Without Daedric protection, increase your health and stamina recovery by 20% while you have a Daedric summoning ability slotted. You could use uh, Artronach then instead of Overload, but not recommended. Overload is just too strong. Next up, Sundering Burst and Sundering Soul. Like I said, needed for this setup for the extra oblivion damage. Streak SCC mobility skill, Karma Hunter for Major Prophecy, 12% crit rate. Make sure to use Energy Overload, gives a ton of magic and stamina back per light attack. Back by Ilesas, Race Against Time, Vigor, Hardened Ward, Dark Deal, and Temporal Guard. For minor protection, just slotted and S on shit button. 
Ray Stammer and his stamina rays Orc Imperial should be also fine. Modus the Serpent for stamina recovery, Smoke Behunch for the extra stamina magicka recovery. Bam stage 3, they will nerf it next patch by a lot, so I recommend to abuse it until we can for the up to 30% damage reduction. Edge points 36 and 12 and the rest in stamina. Next is I'm at 132k HP, really high and 26k stamina thanks to bound armaments with a decent amount of magicka 20k needed we have still a lot of magicka abilities to sustain potion the tricep potion or the detection potion and cps daily aim weapons expert with overload if you use artonark use wrath of strikes here then ironclad and do his rebuff as damage mitigation cps red cps sustained by suffering pain suffused celebrity and slippery same as usual combination First of all, activate Overload, then pre-buff with Race Against Time, Vega and Dark Deal. Keep in mind, Dark Deal gives Minor Prophecy, 6% spare crit if you use a Dark Magic ability, so make sure to use Dark Deal at least every 20 seconds for it. Then start with Ilsas, Burst, Soul twice, into Streak, into Armaments. That's it with another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.